kicking that feeling of worthlessness out the door with the help of one workbook. Author and founder of Unlocking Bright Minds, Emily Taylor, on the show to share her journey to overcoming those negative thoughts so many of us have. Talk about why you do what you do, why you created the journal. Okay, so Unlocking Bright Minds really stems from kind of my own personal mental health journey. So as an adult, I had a lot of um, trauma to overcome from my childhood. And overcoming that, I worked with two different people, well, a couple different people. I worked with some therapists as well as a bishop from my congregation. And they all had good things to offer me, but it wasn't until I kind of combined what I was learning from the therapist with the bishop that I was really able to kind of heal everything. So this kind of stems from that combining the mental health with Jesus Christ, kind of bringing those two things together. And what was it that you, what well, you were going through the trauma, you got to a place where you were feeling that healing began. And what was it at that point where you said, I want to share what I know to help others? So that is a great question. I. I loved the intersection of these two things, mental health with Jesus Christ, only because that was when I was finally able to overcome all of my um, wounds, so to speak. So in that, I just wanted to learn as much as I could. Like, I just, I, let me read, let me learn as much as I could. And then the more I learned, the more I was like, this needs to be tapped into, this needs to be shared because it's not, it's not, there's not a lot out there on it. All right, so let's share a little bit of it. What's in the workbook that makes it so different? So, um, this workbook really allows individuals to tap into themselves. They get to know themselves. Can I open it? Yeah, they get Can to I be vulnerable with themselves. And then they get to take that kind of vulnerability and realness to Jesus Christ to create an intimate relationship with him to, you know, create a better walk through life. So here, here's a possible worksheet inside. It says, what's the circumstance? So yeah, what, what's so, happening in your life? Okay, so this... Um, there are so many like wonderful tools in this workbook, but this one specifically is to help you overcome negative thinking. And so this, lots of practical hands-on. This workbook is very creative. It's meant to pull out your, your scissors and your markers and your pens and you write in it. And so this is, these are steps to help you overcome negative thinking, which is what this game plan is. That's so. what I wanted to ask you next. So go over the game plan. This is what will happen. You will be taken through these six steps when you dive in. Yes. So, and this is just, yes, one aspect of the book. So if you're, you know, if your emotions are feeling big or overwhelming, then you can kind of go through this game plan um, to practice deep breathing, to regulate your nervous system, really get curious about your emotions so that you're, you don't, you're not judging them anymore. You're getting curious about them. Um, and then identify the thoughts in your head. Are these thoughts accurate or could they be lying to me? Because our thoughts aren't always telling us the truth. And then fact check those thoughts with reality. So if they're lying to me, what, what's the truth about this situation? Um, the book is really big on affirmations, practicing positive affirmations. And then um, the last step, of course, because I like to intertwine these things, is um, relying on your savior for any negative, like anything that's, you're trying to work through this process on your own and you're having a hard time to recruit his help. I like all the tools that you have in here too. Thank like you. this tool is learning to say you're sorry genuinely, <laughs> right? Which yes. a lot of us <laughs> struggle with. Um, this is tools for social media comparison, which I think is the biggest issue with social right. media is it's constant comparison. And, and just life in general, right? Sometimes we all fall into that um, comparison trap, that comparison rabbit hole. Right. It's, a, it's a normal human thing to do. So just recognizing it and having tools to help you kind of overcome that when you do fall into that comparison trap. I like what you've got in there because a lot of these are universal. Anybody can pick that up and relate to some of these struggles. I really like three and four on your game plan too. Oh, thank you. Identifying those thoughts and stories and saying, is this even real or is it just me spiraling? We can right. catch a lot right there. I like the affirmations as well. Let's read one. I take time daily to slow down and invite the spirit into my life. Do you suggest just keeping this with you and flipping through when you need a yeah, word. Yeah, so, you know, affirmations are so good because they um, reinforce truths about yourself, positive and empowering things about yourself, and we speak negatively to ourselves so often. So if you just have these, right, and then each day you can look in the mirror and repeat some, and you'll notice some days that some of these are going to, you know, connect better with you than others. And some days they don't. They right. resonate depending on yes. where, depending so on where you are. So if you have a whole stack of them, you know, this one says, I lovingly care for my body and my body cares for me. So I may need that on one day There's more than the other. something about your own voice, yes. right? Something about you affirming yes. yourself that makes it so effective. Okay, everyone, if you would like this workbook, 10% off right now with the code GTU. It's called Unlocking Bright Minds. 
And that's the website on your screen. There's social media and, of course, a link on our website at abc4.com slash GTU. Thank you so much for yes, sharing. Thank we you. We appreciate it. We're back with more GTU after this. Don't go anywhere.